there are lots of things that happen with us in our day-to-day -day life. Have you ever tried to reason out as to why we fall back when the bus suddenly starts to move from rest? Or why do we fall in the forward direction when the bus driver applies brakes to stop the bus? Well, Sir Isaac Newton gave his first law that states that an object at rest will remain at rest and an object in uniform motion will continue to remain in a state of uniform motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In order to better understand the Newton's first law of motion, we conduct an experiment to demonstrate the Newton's first law. Here is our experimental setup. We take a block of a wood representing our object. And as you can see, it is resting on a very smooth surface, which is so smooth that we can assume that it offers no resistance to the object moving on it. Now, the first law of motion states that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. You can see that the block is not moving and it continues to stay that way. So the Newton's first law suggests that the forces acting on the object must be balanced, otherwise it will start moving. So let's have a look at the forces on the block and represent the forces by arrows. We will show equal forces with arrows of same length and greater force by a longer arrow. The first force we consider is the gravity that acts downwards on the block. The block is kept on the surface of the table. And since we have learnt from the Newton's law that the forces must be balanced, it concludes that the table provides a force upwards equal in magnitude to the force of gravity to keep the object at rest. This means that the forces in the vertical direction are balanced and the object continues to be stationary as there is no force in the horizontal direction. So what if we introduce a horizontal force? What do you think will happen? Well, we can do that with the help of this piston. When we push the button for the piston to move, it will push the block. We see that the block changes from stationary to a state of uniform motion. And this depicts the Newton's law that a body at rest will remain at rest unless an unbalanced force acts on it. Now let's run our replay and see the forces on the block. As the piston pushes the block, a horizontal force, F piston, acts on the block. Therefore, in horizontal direction, the net force is F piston and therefore the block moves. When the block is in motion, there is no piston force and the smooth surface offers no resistance to the block. Therefore, in the state of motion, the vertical forces on the block are again balanced and there is no horizontal force. Hence, according to Newton's first law, the object in motion continues to be in state of uniform motion unless acted by some unbalanced force.